Hi there, my name is Manay Brits. I am a psychology student, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to treat trypophobia. Trypophobia is an extreme fear of small holes, specifically small holes gathered together and clustered together. People with trypophobia often report feeling nauseous and anxious and panicked um, and overall disgust when they see small holes gathered together. And a fear becomes a phobia when it causes significant distress and restriction um, in areas of your life. And you begin to avoid certain situations, objects, people. And if you have this fear, you're not strange. Your body is just trying to protect you from something aversive. And a very popular theory uh, is that trypophobia is an evolutionary response to things that are associated with disease and danger. Uh, thus, the bumps and the holes, um, because you'll you'll find that in diseased skin um, with parasites, other infectious conditions. Uh, but when a phobia gets in the way of your life and your functioning, uh, you can use exposure therapy uh, to reduce the anxiety and reduce your fear responses. The idea behind exposure therapy is that uh, the more you expose yourself to something, to your phobia, uh, the less anxiety you will feel. And this is because you're challenging your cognitions uh, surrounding your fear. And you come not only to believe that you're safe in the presence of this thing that is bringing distress to you, but you also begin to experience safety. We recommend that you ask a friend or a family member to join you um, as you engage in these tasks. Um, ask them if it's okay for them to do the task before you give it a go yourself. It can be really helpful to have someone model um, a behavior. And um, when you see them succeed, um, when you see that they, they haven't experienced any harm, then you know that you can also engage in the same task and you won't experience harm. So step one, um, you'll need a pen and paper for this. You are just going to write your exposure plan. So think of 10 things, um, 10, at least 10 things, situations or objects that you tend to avoid concerning your trypophobia. These might be soap bubbles, um, a sponge, honeycomb because of those little hexagon shapes that are clustered together, um, certain images of skin conditions, lotus pods, um, other flowers and plants. After you've written your list of 10 things, rate each one from 0 to 100 on a rate of distress. So think about whether it um, will incur mild, moderate or severe uh, fear. So for example, playing with a piece of bubble wrap might not make you feel disgusted, but you might feel a little bit of anxiety because of those bumps. You might want to rate something like that a 10 out of 100 on a scale of distress. And looking at a photo of a sponge, because of the, the holes in that, it might make you feel a bit gross. It might elevate that anxiety a little further. And so you might rate that 20 out of 100. Whereas holding a sponge in real life might be even more intense. So you could rate that a 30 out of 100, something that might make you feel a 40 out of 100 could be looking at an image of, of honeycomb or bubbles. The idea behind your exposure plan is to write out 10 things that act as a step ladder from causing the least amount of distress to the highest amount of distress. Common objects um, of avoidance for people with who have trypophobia is a lotus pod and images of skin conditions. And you can see how these situations would probably be rated around an 80, 90, 100 on that scale of distress. Once you've written your list, you have completed the first step to conquering your fear of trypophobia. Step two involves gradual exposure. So remember, ask your support friend or family member to go ahead of you and complete the tasks before for you do on your list and one by one you're just going to start crossing them off. Never skip a task, there are 10 for a reason we want to gradually expose ourselves so we're not jumping from 1 to 100. You will begin with task 1 
and engage in the task for several minutes. Uh, once you've felt your anxiety uh, decrease significantly, you know that you're ready to move on to the next task. Another good in indication as to whether or not you can move on to the next task is if you were to rate that task again, is it half as much as what you rated it initially? It may take you a day to complete all these tasks on your list. It might take you a month. All you need to do is take it step by step and make sure you are congratulating yourself every time you complete a task because it takes a lot of bravery and a lot of courage to get rid of a phobia. By following these steps, writing out your exposure plan, and then exposing yourself, you will eventually eradicate your phobia. How do you manage your progression and change? Uh, well, you're going to have to repeatedly expose yourself um, using that list as, as guidance again. And you might have to do that weekly or monthly. Um, it's different for everyone. But the good news is once you've completed these tasks, you've gotten to the end, you've faced your fear, you know that you can do it again.